Thank you for watching XBite On Demand. This is Corey Foner, and today we're going to be talking about Dell's PowerEdge R620. The R620 is a hyperdense two socket powerhouse. Uh, it's got a large memory footprint and up to 10 hard drives, uh, and it gives you unprecedented IOPS performance in a 1U package. First up, we're going to talk about the CPUs. Dell's PowerEdge R620 will take Intel Xeon E5 2600 series CPUs. They'll give you up to 24 physical cores at 2.7 gigahertz. Um, the memory uh, that the R620 supports is DDR3 at 1866 megahertz. Uh, it has a total capacity of 768 gigabytes of RAM across 24 slots. That's four times as much memory as this server's predecessor. When it comes to your backplane options, there's a, a lot of different ones that you can pick from. You can have a four bay, eight bay, or even a 10 bay uh, option, all using two and a half inch drives. The 10 bay option will give you up to 12 terabytes of uh, local storage. And it's really amazing to think that in a one U package, they are able to cram in 10 two and a half inch drive bays. Now controlling those hard drives, the Dell PowerEdge R620 uses Dell's PERT controller, and it can use either the H310, H710, or H710P with its one gigabyte of non-volatile cache. Uh, the great thing about that non-volatile cache is that in the event of a power failure, uh, it'll take the data that's in the cache and write it to flash memory where it can be stored safely for up to 10 years. Uh, the H710 and H310 also give you that six gigabit per second throughput that today's IOPS needs. Um, as far as the I.O. tech, the R620 comes with onboard quad port gigabit ethernet. Uh, you have up to three PCIe slots. And something of, of note is the chassis come in either three half height or two full height PCIe slots. So if you're bringing over any other cards from other servers or legacy cards, just keep in mind what the size of your card is and make sure you select an appropriate chassis. Now, as far as the power supplies, the Dell R620 uses Dell's 12th generation power supplies in either 490 95 watt, 750 watt, or 1100 watt uh, flavors. Um, we like to tell our customers just a good rule of thumb is if you're going to be upgrading or maximizing any of the three main components, CPUs, hard drives, or RAM, you probably want to think about or if not, definitely upgrade your power supplies. There's nothing worse than getting in some new toys to play with and not being able to use them because you don't have the power to drive them. For management capabilities, uh, the R620, since it's one of Dell's 600 series or above servers, comes with uh, iDRAC Express, um, which is going to give you web-based GUI, IPMI 2.0, SNMP, uh, also remote firmware upgrades. If you need a little bit more robust management capabilities, you can upgrade to the iDRAC 7 Enterprise. Uh, this will add features like virtual console, virtual media, rack admin, diags, and even a dedicated NIC. So as you can see, the Dell's PowerEdge R620 really packs a lot of power into a 1U design. Uh, if you don't have a lot of space left in your rack, it's really hard to go wrong with selecting this server. Thank you for watching XBite On Demand. Come check us out on the web at www.xbyte.com or call one of our reps and they'll be happy to custom design a solution for you today. Thank you.